Let's do it. Attention viewers, the male contestants in this program may be lying or misrepresenting themselves at all times. In male manipulator alert, dude. Hey, someone should tell West Elm Caleb, boys. <laughs> oh, man, if only the TikTok ladies knew about this. Including in their interviews. Wait, Michael says, three episodes aired on US TV and the finale only aired in Russia, so it's dubbed? I love that. This sweet, innocent Midwestern girl named Jackie is about to meet 14 men. Oh, yeah, it's 240p, she sorry. Thinks she's going to find true love. But not all of the guys are here for romance. Some of them are gay. What? What? I hate my legs, so it's there's a definite possibility somebody may think I'm gay. Some people may very well construe uh, uh, baking a cheesecake as being gay. I am a straight man. Bro, this is so awesome. Come on, dude. It, the year is 2004, okay? The Iraq War is happening. Americans still are away from figuring out how they feel about gay people. Americans are still not comfortable with the idea of gay people. Getting married, okay? And then bam, blammo, all of a sudden, you got dudes on here on national television talking about, is it, fellas, is it gay to bake a cake? Everybody's gay with me. He's like the biggest flamer I've ever met in my life. If Jackie Ooh! ends up picking a straight Spicy. guy, she and he will each win half a million dollars. But if she falls for a gay guy, he will win the whole million and she will walk away with nothing. Every little thing I analyze that they do. I don't think a gay man will kiss me. You want to do it sitting or standing? <laughs> oh my God, stop it. She's trying to sniff out the gay guys. What are your feminine qualities? I'm not gay. We're here. <laughs> I mean, we're all out for blood. Yo! Yeah. One of you is starting to spread little rumors or whatever. That's a little bit much, I think. Dude, I will bust your head open, all right? It ain't over. Come on, show on. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Is that your shoulder? My arm broke. Oh! So in the end, oh, the drama! Or will she Bro, he broke his arm. What the fuck, dude? Oh god. A gay guy who will win the whole I'm so glad I didn't pre-watch this, dude. I didn't want to I literally watched it up to this point, okay? The the warning. I saw the warning and I was like, this is it. That's it. We're watching the show. While she ends up with nothing but a broken heart. It's not like they're in it for the love. I mean they're gay. I have to know uh if they're gay or if they're straight. Tonight, Jackie and the straight guys will find out the truth for the first time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How will Okay, this is spoilers. Okay, we're skipping the tonight precursor. Let's go. What? Bro, the quality's getting worse. How is the quality getting worse? Oh no. Epic sub moment. Oh, ooh, and Jackie will submit to any test. Oh, they came to sizzle and saddles. But the thing she didn't know oh, oh, Some of these old rugged riders Like a different road For the record, I've always maintained the brilliant, in my opinion, position that uh, cowboy culture is gay as fuck, straight up. It is, cowboys are queer-coded 100%. They love razzle and dazzle. They love flashy shit. They love spending like $2,000 on fucking boots and fat-ass belt joints. buckles. I am telling you, okay, I'm fucking telling you once again, straight up, cowboys, cow brothers, dude, pretty fucking, pretty gay. Gay dar? The name of the dog is gay dar? This beautiful girl named Jackie is about to leave her hometown in Wisconsin to travel to Sizzling Saddles Ranch to meet 14 handsome men who will try to win her heart. What she doesn't know yet is that some of these guys are gay. Whoa, the zoinks! The guys know the twist, but none of them have any idea who else is gay. From now on, they have to play it straight at all times. In so what if someone is just fucking, what if someone is straight, but
but then they assume the role of a gay man to just take all the million dollars, take one million fucking dollars. Like, why can't you just do that? What are they going to do? Are they going to be like the Turkish military and, and ask you to like get butt fucked in a photo yes. and send it in, which is a real thing that the Turkish military used to do. I think they still do it where, you know, if you want to avoid military service, uh, you need to be bottomed on camera straight up as a real thing 18 naked cowboys in the show that's the only way ranch. for that because turks Big also BCCs don't consider tops to be gay sucked. 18 naked cowboys in order to deceive jackie each other and you our host is about to tell all the guys the twist for the gay guys the way they react to the news will be the first test of how good they are at playing it straight now uh Probably kind of wondering what this is all about. Yeah. Not all of you guys are who you appear to be. Some of you are straight, and some of you are gay. What? Wow. As in homosexual. As in homosexual. No. Gay as in homosexual? Yeah, motherfucker, obviously. What else would they know? Gay as in happy, brother. No. Okay, that guy's gay. It's done. Dude, I'm so good at this. I will literally... I'm, dude, I'm going to clock every gay man in here. Straight up. I, you, you guys are about to find out. that This is, you know, spoiler alert. I, I'm too good at this. Oh, here lies the scandal. How many people would you say are gay that are here? Also gay. My man's got the Jared Leto Fight Club haircut, okay? I Sorry. I have absolutely no idea. So, if Jackie falls for a straight guy, they will split a million dollars. But if she falls for a gay guy, he gets a million dollars all to himself. She actually does not know this yet. So, this is our secret for the moment. Question it's is, not the only secret. For all of you, eventually, <laughs> Jackie. Who is straight and who is gay? Michael points out something very important here. It's 2004. Bisexuality does not exist, okay? No such thing as bi visibility, for the record. Once again, those nefarious bisexuals get away by being able to uh, hide there in this situation. They're goaded on a stack here, okay? By visibility in here. By inclusivity, by visibility. See that? Goaded. That's the, that's the Trump card. consider myself a woman with small town values. I've always been raised to go to church and to always be polite, act it like didn't a come lady, out yet. just like Chinese food, yes. Treated. I'm a fun girl, I'm down to earth, and you know, if I meet Mr. Wright, then that's fantastic. The gay people, they're openly gay, fine. You know what I'm saying? We're straight. How do they know how we feel about it? You know what I'm saying? They drop the bombshell on us. The twist is, you know, bombshell is whether or not that's worth a million bucks. Yeah, I was pretty pissed off. I mean, I gotta be honest. Probably my worst nightmare uh, came true. Definitely. Come on, homie's wearing a choker. Not what I wanted to hear. Sus. Having gay men around me, you don't really know how to react. I mean, you don't know if someone's watching, if someone's straight. Not. I mean, it freaks you out a little bit. Oh man. <laughs> Sometimes I may. That ugly ass necklace, straight as fuck. I mean, it freaks you out a little bit. Oh, Once man. again. <laughs> Sometimes I make, you know, bad judgment in someone's character. When someone tells me something, I expect dog. it to be the truth. And so I'm... So as for that motherfucker, so are you then? Yeah, bro, what do you mean? The Hasanabi franchise is queer-coded, okay? Regardless of his established heterosexuality. Yes. Kind of a gullible person, I guess you could say that. Let the best man win. <laughs> People kind of started to look over their shoulder and started to kind of look at each other and say, well, could he be? A lot of people, it, it got in their heads. We'll just have to see what happens. When I first found out about gay people being in the house, it's like immediately you look around the room, you're kind of sizing people up, 
right then and there deciding you know who's who's gay like i said okay first of all you know what a straight man would say in the situation in 2004 oh uh, i feel a little uncomfortable being in a house with a bunch of gay guys okay what well, they're gonna try to butt fuck me i don't like that it's fucking uh, you know they can't control their urges no one is saying oh we're gonna be sizing up everybody else like no you're sizing him up okay uh, fucking gay guys are gonna be here what the fuck I, I didn't sign up for this possibly possibly gay some guys are a little bit more flamboyant than others but i you know you can't tell somebody could just be acting a certain way or maybe you know i don't i don't know who's gay are you gay? <laughs> that's my strategy Very, this is called the straightforward question technique the homosexual cannot tell a lie which is precisely why the straight man will ask a straightforward question catching the homosexual on the back foot to ensure victory are you good? it's a good strategy no 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 well somebody is <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm sure whatever it is, I'll have fun right now. Yeah, are you gay? You need to tell me. You know, it's illegal if you don't, like a cop. <laughs> you need to tell me. Otherwise, it's illegal. It's time for me to, you know, <laughs> just get out of this small town and experience new things and hopefully meet the right guy. Coming up. Woo! Sizzling sounds. Here I come. If she knew that she was being deceived already and that some of these guys were gay, she would be pissed off. Can't do this. One of the things that I love is that like, yo, straight up, male care, like male self-care has advanced dramatically. You will never see in 2022 a dude that has this hairline on any reality TV show, okay? Like in a reality TV show where they're like supposed to be hot dudes, okay? That's like, that, that literally went out the door. Okay, straight up. That's one thing that you are not going to ever see ever again. Yeah, also, this dude is like probably 27 years old. Okay, not even, probably even younger. That's one of the, that's one of my favorite things about watching old reality TV shows is like, you literally watch old reality TV shows and someone will be like, I'm 21. And you're like, bro, you literally look like a divorced accountant. How did this happen? What were we putting in the fucking food, dude? Oh, can't do this. <laughs> basically just found out that some of the guys in the group are gay and now to top it all off we have to share rooms together that motherfucker have lip fillers trying to find a room last night was kind of crazy everybody's so worried about you know being gay you know they're freaking out the whole process last night again in rooms okay that dude is so gay dude holy shit again still hasn't mentioned how uncomfortable he is around Still hasn't mentioned how uncomfortable he is around the, the potential prospect of, you know, shacking up with gay men, okay? In 2004, that's a gay man, okay? I'm trying to find a room last night was kind of crazy. Everybody's so worried about, you know, being gay. You know, they're freaking out. The whole process last night to get in rooms was pretty hectic. Just each man for himself. When you're taking off your clothes or whatever, I know they're not gonna come up and like, you know, I'm gonna pray upon you, you know. They're not gonna do that. But yeah, it's a little, it's a little awkward. Hey Alex, check it out. We got the one with the big patio. <laughs> oh man! It's pink. It's pink. Oh ew! Pink. I got stuck with the big pink room. I was kind of like, oh great, people are gonna start thinking that I'm gay. Yeah. Oh anything. man. It's just a color. I am so excited about this experience. Dude, I love this. The memes are so fire, dude. 2004 is like when, you know, metrosexuality was a concept. Remember, like the whole fellas, is it gay to take care of oneself is literally like trapped as a, a 2000, like early 2000s phenomena, okay? metrosexuality was like a concept that was well established in the early 2000s that made it all of its way into like deep into like the 2010s as well okay remember that so just, i love dating and i love everything that comes with it and same know, with the uh, pink yeah pink is for homosexuals uh, yeah it was like a 
That was like a thing. Like, if you wore a pink shirt, you were like, are you gay? Like, what's up with that? Flowers, the dinner dates. It's those little things that guys do that make me happy. I guess you could say I'm a hopeless romantic. You know, I'm just, I'm looking for someone that's going to sweep me off my feet. Well, whoever's in here is going to sleep together. Everybody's scrambling at first to find the best room, and then suddenly we realize there's not enough beds, so now it's just a matter of getting a bed. What's left is one bed, and there's two people left. It's Bill and it's Ryan. This is uh, me. This bed is just mine. That's all. You, you don't know who's gay, who's straight, so why would you want to share a bed with someone that you don't, you don't know that answer to? I mean, you don't want to wake up with your roommate naked beside you. That just wouldn't make you feel comfortable. I got to have that bed. No, you ain't called it no that's straight that's that motherfucker straight ugly ass fucking necklace like that straight as fuck dude no hey, shot naked beside you that just know that i don't know who's gay who's straight so why would you want to share a bed with someone that you don't, you don't know that answer to i mean you don't want to wake up with your roommate naked beside you that just there's no way he's like portraying a, 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 an authentic straight man's homophobia verbatim Okay. This wouldn't make you feel comfortable. I gotta have that bed. No, you ain't gonna have nothing. John and I both agree Bill's gay. Um, I mean, the guy's on fire. Oh my God. This guy said, why would you be concerned about seeing a guy naked if you were saving your heterosexuality? Okay. Now you're getting into the weeds of things. Okay. You have to understand that like, even if they were closeted gay, they think they're straight. Okay. This is... This is 2004. Like, you gotta literally take one level, uh, one layer off of this. Okay. I can't sleep on this. Well, then I'm supposed to? I can't sleep on this bed. Yeah, we'll talk about it. No, I can't. Bill sleeping in the same bed with me would definitely be crossing the, the line. I mean, this ain't happening. Why? No, here's the deal, because you can't just have the bed. And what makes you get it? Because we're going to flip a coin. They're flipping, right? Okay. Oh, dude, come. Okay, those two. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Oh, dude, that's like, that's literally like, that's like a porn, dude. Oh, man. Oh, stepbrother. <laughs> We're stuck on the same bed, I guess. What the fuck? What, what is he next? He's going to be stuck in the laundromat. <laughs> now, see who gets the bed. I guess the other person takes the floor. Heads or tails? Heads. For the bed. Heads. <laughs> Tails. Bill took it really well. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't upset. This is my bed. <laughs> God, what an Woo! Sizzling Saddles, here I come. Welcome to Sizzling Saddles Ranch, Jackie. This We're show is excited. incredible. Oh, I'm so excited. Very much so. Awesome. <laughs> incredible. This show is incredible. 14 drop dead gorgeous men from all across America are about to meet you and to woo you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to pick just one. I can't have all. <laughs> all right, are you up for it? Oh yeah, for sure I'm up for it. Let's okay. go. Okay. <laughs> 14 guys. This is going to be tough, you know, eliminating and picking just, just one. I'm not a very good decision maker. At this point, Jackie doesn't know some of the people in the house are gay. And I have a lot of effeminate qualities. So wow. I'm hoping that she doesn't start thinking twice. <laughs> this is all wow, this is great. I didn't expect this. That's all Oh, this show has everything, dude. It even has sexism, brother. Misandry, brother. Women get to have one big bed, even though men are out there getting even though men are out there getting fucking uh, putting two guys on one bed. I think Jackie's going to have a really hard time figuring out who's gay and who's straight because you could have some sort of feminine straight guys and some sort of, you know, really masculine gay guys. And um, I think I fall somewhere in the middle. Okay, too much knowledge over the versatility of homosexuality. That's pretty sus to me. Okay. Either this dude is the most woke straight guy on the fucking planet in 2004, or he's gay as hell. Okay, that's sus as fuck, dude. This level of knowledge about like fucking, uh, you know, heteronormativity, like fucking, uh, uh, you know, masculine and feminine people, gay.
the feminine straight guys and some gay. Sort of, you know, really masculine <laughs> gay guys and um, I think I fall somewhere in the middle. Some people may very well construe uh, baking a cheesecake as being gay. I enjoy decorating. That guy's straight. Straight. Okay, straight up. Anyone that is concerned with like baking being gay is a straight man, okay? Very well construe uh, baking a cheesecake as being gay. I enjoy decorating, I enjoy you know, plants and you know, landscaping. I've thought of doing hair as a career. I'm doing a lot of poetry, singing a lot of Spanish you know, ballads and things like that. Modeling, I've, I've got a bunch of nice clothes, I dress well, have a pretty good sense of fashion. A lot of people say you're like more in touch with your, your feminine side. I do know some things about art. I've just never been an athletic kind of <laughs> I have Okay, that's gay too. I mean, not gay, sorry. Side. That's straight. Know Chad is just Chad is straight. <laughs> My man said, fellas, is art gay? Bro, that is okay, dude. That's awesome. That, that dude's straight. Some things about art. <laughs> Oh no! I, I I know some things about art. That's that's pretty gay, I think. <laughs> I've just never been an athletic kind of person. I have a lot of like, uh, you know, toiletries. Personally, I don't think I act or there's anything about me that would make someone think that I'm gay. I'm a little nervous about you know meeting meeting the guys today. I don't really know what to expect. Coming up. It's amazing to The watch. toiletries one was sus too, I'm but, just, but we, I already called I already called he was gay. I, it's gonna be a blood battle. We can't do this. <laughs> when we rode up to meet Jackie, it was extremely tense. Everybody's a bit uh, on edge. Because all of us obviously want to make a good impression upon her. At the same time, we all knew that uh, there was a group of us that were gay, and she's completely clueless. Waiting for the guys was probably the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done, like... I have 20 bottles of cologne and I really enjoy tea. Is that gay? No, you're just Middle Eastern. What the fuck? It doesn't mean anything. Wait, what happened? Oh, clueless. I mean, I've been on dates, but like 14 guys. I am so nervous. My palms are sweating and I was shaking in my boots. Hi. Hi. I'm Bradley. I can see like some fucking idiotic like Nazi trad cath guy being like watching this and being like, remember what they took from us, Deus Vault. This is what women used to be like. Jackie. Hi. Hi. I'm Bradley. Bradley, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is, <laughs> is kind of cool, huh? It is very cool. Are it's you excited? Cool. I'm very excited. Very excited. <laughs> Bradley from the start, I just thought he was absolutely adorable. And I was just thinking, man, if all of them look like that, bring them on. <laughs> Let's go. I forgot my lasso. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, he's pissed a couple of people off. <laughs> he's kind of um, a little troublemaker. But um, he's probably straight. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hey, dog. <laughs> yeah. Right. Women like confident men. But there is, in fact, a line between being confident and then being arrogant. I just tend to walk it better than most people. I don't think she's gonna think I'm gay because once I get to kiss her, then I'll have it wrapped around my finger. Jackie? Yes. Luciano. Pleasure Luciano. Wow. Wow. I'm just gonna say it flat out, Luci Bro, 2004. That's the most ethnic person that she's ever encountered in the Midwest. Okay. That's why she said, "Wow." <laughs> she's like, "Wow, a POC." <laughs> she's like, "Wow." I didn't know they were letting people of color onto the show. <laughs> An Italian. Keanu is hot. I think Jackie's got gaydar. I think every straight woman does. You know, there's the look in the eye. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. There's the body language. Hi, Jackie. Hi. It's Lewis. It's a pleasure Lewis, to meet you. It's a pleasure meeting you. There's a whole lot of things that girls can just pick up on <laughs> to tell if a guy is gay or not. Hi, how are you, Jackie? I'm doing great. I'm Bill. Hi, nice Bill. To pleasure to meet you. You too. <laughs> hey there. I'm sensitive, I'm kind of wishy-washy, kind of a hopeless romantic type guy. 
I'm not gay, I'm straight. Um, I can get some references if you guys would like. My name is Gus. Hi. Oh. I, 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 uh, this one's a little interesting. This one, I feel like he's... I feel like he's straight. Um, I feel like he is... I feel like he's straight, but also at the same time, I don't know. He's like too awkward. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> so look at you, huh? oh. <laughs> You're even more beautiful than I pictured, huh? Aww. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm Lee. So great. Hi, Lee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. They said you were beautiful, oh, and you are. Yeah. <laughs> I really wasn't sure what the guys were going to be like, but they are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> So all the guys are standing there looking at Jackie and she looks so happy. And I think every single one of us was thinking the same thing. And that was that if she knew that she was being deceived already and that some of these guys were gay, she would be pissed off. Wow. No, not whoa, not whoa, wow. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Hi. I'm Eddie. Pleasure to meet you, Eddie. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, doing great. I'm John. Hi, John, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bro, the hardest part of this show is distinguishing not who's gay and who's straight, but who's who in general. They literally all look the same brand of white, except like some of them are off-white. And the ones that are off-white also look the exact same. Like so, some of them are just like spicy white, okay? They're all white. Some of them are just spicy white, and they literally all look the same. Yeah. It's amazing to watch the deception that is unfolding in front of Jackie. It's going to be a blood battle. Hey, Jackie. Hi, how are you doing? Nice to finally meet you. Oh, thank you. I'm Sheree. Hi, Jackie. Hi. I'm Chad, nice meeting Chad, you. Chad, pleasure meeting you. Howdy. Howdy. Nice to meet you. I'm Banks. I'm Jackie. Nice pleasure to meet you, meet Jackie. You. you don't want to be someone you're not, but under these circumstances, you don't have much of a choice. So. Felt a little bit out of my element, you know, slightly coming apart, it seems. But some would say that's endearing. You know. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Enjoy the gentleman. Okay. <laughs> Love the experience here Howdy. so far. I can't wait for what's to come. Later, fellas. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jackie. Bye, Jackie. Jackie's got the cutest face. She's got the cutest dimples. A lot of you think that the software developer guy is actually 40 years old. Uh, no, this is 2004. He's actually 21, okay? I think she's got great Oh, that's an Austin moment. That's a certified Austin moment. This dude is the gayest, bro. Come on, that's literally Austin being like, yeah, are we slanging puss, bros? Dude, I think she has great tits. She's got the cutest dimples. I think she's got great. Oh, yeah, dude. Fucking, I, I love titties, bro. Yeah, I was straight, dude. We're was, uh, was straight to the tit talk. Come on. Let's talk about fucking, yeah. She's got oh nice, God. she's got nice everything. Very supple. This point of the competition, trying to. They're supple. He said supple. He said. His boobs are supple, dude. That is literally the gayest way to describe a boob. Oh. Oh, my man is literally, dude, just just suck a dick, I think, at that point. Just fucking, just, just call it, okay? Oh, man, how, how such supple breasts uh, that, that she has. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a crime. This is a hate crime that I'm watching this without Austin, straight up. This would be infinitely better to watch with Austin. Unfortunately, he's not here. So, you know, we can't do that. Like, well, I, I, I texted him the other day. I was like, where, where are you at? What's going on? Are you in LA? I, I miss him. But the fact that we don't have him here to watch this side by side is, is unironically a hate crime. It's, I... I have already maintained the position that I am a, a, a homophobe. I am a foe to the LGBT community. And once again, I am showing that. I'm showing my true colors once again. To figure out who's straight and who's gay is tough. I look at these guys and it's like, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be up to Jackie. That's the bottom line. First one up to nice legs. I like thick legs. No, 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 no. Listen to me. She's not, she doesn't have like little skinny That's chicken I legs. I like chicken I like, legs. Are okay. I like skinny. No, no, no. I don't like chicken legs. Okay. No, I like skinny I'm Cuban. I like big legs. Skinny little ankles and a muscular calf. That's the best. All right, stop. Like okay, that. <laughs> okay, leg talk is interesting because like that is straight guy talk, especially in 2004. I feel like.
I feel like hella people, that's like, you know, drama, entourage, you know, guys were like, yeah, my calves are fucking not big, bro. What the fuck? I don't know. Did y'all look at her rack whenever you were yeah. first coming up? Because she's like on that step. So you're like down here like this. And I was like talking to her. I was like, I've been looking forward to meeting you and you. <laughs> Nice talking to you guys, but I gotta go. How are y'all doing? Holy uh, Sarah and Jessica uh, Parker. Parker. <laughs> when Jackie came out, the best way to describe it is a bunch of vultures just discovered a new carcass. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back Hi. To oh, thank you. <laughs> so I walk out and I'm totally overwhelmed with all the with all the guys that just kind of swarmed around me and they're throwing compliments and it's just it's really charming. Hello, right. darling. Hello. I think they found a really great. Uh, woman for the show though she seems pretty cute like i can't really tell because it's like one p but she's giving off good vibes overall Fantastic. jackie not knowing the twist was difficult i wanted her to know i mean it was killing me to keep that under my hat for the 24 hours we had to here you leave me uh, Where's like, Ooh, hello, really. oh yeah bradley yeah uh -huh. at the barbecue i uh, just tried to take charge of, of jackie because i wanted her to come sit at my table and make sure that she got a lot of uh you know just kind of close time with me um some of the other guys were sort of you know just trying to sort of move in on her a little bit yeah look at that i was prepared <laughs> here's to y'all chess chess there you go. <laughs> Gay or straight, everybody is deceiving her in some way, shape, or form. They're trying to make themselves to be more of what they are or less of what they aren't. It is a game. It's a little surprise for little me surprise. and the bartender. If you don't like it, you can always blame the bartender. John's a bit of a <laughs> He can be annoying at times. I don't know if he's trying too hard or if that's really who he is. And I initially thought there's no chance this guy's gay. But I'm thinking. Maybe it's just all one big cover-up. I thought maybe there might be some competition, but you know what? All the guys are getting along just great. Let's arm wrestle for her. All the guys at my table, we're like, oh, well, she's been sitting with that table over there like through the whole dinner, and we really haven't even gotten to talk to her. And I'm like, well, then why don't we just go get her? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's good. <laughs> the show's kind of doing gay equals bad, but it's 2004. Yo, honestly, when I first started, I thought it was going to be like that. But I don't think it's like that. I think for 2004, this is like kind of progressive. Like, I, I literally thought it was going to be like straight over the top. Like, duh, who's gay? What's up? Are uh, you gay? Uh, get the gay off me. Like, they're, they're kind of... It's very progressive for 2004, straight up. Like the only girl around. This is great. 14. Pretty sure Jackie's gonna be shocked, right, when she finds out the, what the competition is all about. You know, I was shocked. I was basically in heaven. You know, it was just, it was like a dream. It gives gay as a deception trope. I mean, yes, the, the premise, the reason why I thought it was gonna be like way more homophobic is because the premise that the show was established on is literally like, you know, deceit. Gay men being uh, deceptive. So, or, or faking being gay. So obviously, inherently, I assumed that it was going to be way, way, way more homophobic. So far, it has not uh, thus far. You know, all these guys surrounding me, asking the questions, and uh, I was just excited to get to know them on a more personal level. Bye, everyone. We have any idea of what uh, course of the evening room no, is we pretty much figured out who's gay and who's not. I don't know. Have you? Yeah, yes. everybody okay. but us and you. Yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> I think, I think both. Yeah. One of the gay guys that are in the house right now that you can kind of pick out are uh, Ryan and Gus. Definitely Bill. Yeah, Bill knows who's gay because Bill's gay, okay? <laughs> yeah, Bill, Bill clocked the gay guys because he's gay. <laughs> Definitely Gust and definitely Chris. Chad, Lee, Chad and Alex. Eddie and Ryan. Uh, John. Sharif and Bangs. I think Luciano might be gay. Um, Louis, Sharif, Alex and Brad. Coming up, Jackie's world is turned upside down. Oh no! Okay, okay. No spoilerinos. No spoilerinos! Jackie has no idea at this point what's going on. 
And the rest of the guys, we all know, and we are... Luciano's the gays, but he's the Chad. They respect it, so they won't say it. I don't know. Okay. Luciano might just be, uh, you know, Hispanic. There is that element there. You know, there's, there's like over-the-top machismo, but like with very feminine qualities. So you never know. Someone said Flexipino. What the fuck? Yeah, he might just be, <laughs> he might just be Hispanic in parentheses, queer coded. <laughs> Playing the game. I want to say that I didn't really have much of a strategy. I wanted just to come here and just truly be myself. But just realize that the small things you say, the insignificant things you say and do, can have a profound effect in the game. You know, like this morning. <laughs> Jackie came in and asked for a haircut. Yeah, when you're over, when you have over the top machismo, but you shower and you uh, thread your eyebrows. Uh, the hair dryer story. Jackie said she needed a hair dryer, asking if any of the guys had one. Well, before I even really thought about what it would make me look like, I gave Jackie my hair dryer, and everybody kind of turns around, and I could tell. Fellas, is it gay to dry your hair? Yes, this is what I want. This is it. Fellas, is it gay to rely on technological achievements to dry your hair faster? That's what I'm talking about, dude. Basically the equivalent of sucking a cock, you know? <laughs> Yo! That's it. That's my shit, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> We're just like totally keeping score. She's not going to forget that. She's going to find out this twist. She's not going to forget that. And uh, that hairdryer is going to come up, and he was smacking himself in the head. All I can say is, poor boy. <laughs> to the fellas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, I joke about this, but I literally have long hair, and my hair drying techniques are just, you know, getting stepping out of the shower and then waiting for it to air cool. <laughs> but, you know. It's not gay to use a blow dryer. There's 14 strapping young lads, and I, I don't want to just pick one. I want to have them all. <laughs> this isn't really that much of a game to her. You know, she's looking for someone to, you know, start dating and hopefully have a relationship. Okay, gay. Caring about a woman's feelings, dude? Come on, Bradley. <laughs> Caring about a woman's feelings like that? Okay, dude. Pretty sus, fellas with and there are these guys here who are uh, you know totally looking to hurt her oh my god I don't know I, I'm a little lost so. yeah. Yeah. empathy yeah. gay look how beautiful she is she is very beautiful Jackie you've been having a lot of fun I mean how could you not enjoy 14 men courting you yeah we had a blast today Jackie I need to tell you something very important oh my goodness why is she so aggro Not all of these guys are who you think they are. Some of them are straight. And some of these guys are gay. <gasps> what? <clears throat> <laughs> what? Bro, she is literally the perfect 2004 heartthrob, okay? This is literally the How I Met Your Mother chick. Like, this was 2004 and, like, early 2000s was, like, when brunette white women had their fucking peak, okay? I'm not even kidding. The girl next door, brunette white lady was popping the fuck off like no other. There was just a fucking, the Jennifer Lawrence era, you know what I mean? Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Just so many. So many, dude. What? Or not Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Sorry. Jennifer Lawrence is... is uh, whatever, bro. I don't fucking know the actress names. Okay, shut up. I, I, I'm not talking about Jennifer Lawrence. You know what I mean. All the fucking Jennifers. Okay, they were all named Jennifer. Shut the fuck up. Jennifer Gardner. You can see just through body language, she was kind of twitching a little bit, you know, her arms getting a little bit closer, just out of, you know, protection. Just a lot of doubt, you can see it was coming to her head, like, who can I trust, who can I not trust? You 
pick a straight guy to fall for, <laughs> the two of you will split a million dollars. If you fall for a gay guy, he gets the entire million himself, and you don't get anything. When Daphne told me the twist, I just, I was shocked. I couldn't believe that any of those guys were gay. I don't feel bad at all that Jackie has been let on this long. She's right there in the boat with the rest of us. Either you get love and a fortune, or you get heartbreak, nothing. <laughs> and I have one more hard thing to tell okay. you. Okay. That by the end of the night, you have to ask two of these guys to leave. It's nice. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your meal. You know, I think she's probably looking at people uh, a bit differently. It's actually a game. Rewarded for covering up homosexuality? Okay, dude. What are you, the fucking woke police? We will, we will. Yeah, that's the whole premise, okay? It's bad. That's why we're enjoying it, okay? It's awesome to watch bad things. God damn. Now. She's got a lot of work on her hands. I need another drink. Oh, no. The fun police is here. <laughs> Watch out, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's gay among us. Exactly. It's gay among us. Oh, it's so sussy. Oh, God. I love this. I love this. I love this so much. Show literally about offering $500,000 to someone to convert to gay. It rewards becoming gay. It rewards becoming gay. Exactly. Oh, man. Knowing what I know about my my friends in the LGBT community, even though I am a foe myself, I can't think of a single gay person that would not absolutely love this fucking show. Like, eat it up. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that the person that uh, gets offended at this is 100% a straight person, okay? It's... Uh, <laughs> like, there's not a... This is, this, is like, this is just... This is the greatest drama. Are you kidding me? Okay. okay, huh. It turns out the guys already knew the twist, and that just blew me away. Imagine how all of us were. We were all Especially freaking out, too. We have to share rooms. Yeah. Yeah. They picked us because... I watch the show with my chat, and I'm trans, and most of my viewers are gay or trans. Go ahead. Cavils, I got something to tell you. Most of my viewers are gay or trans as well. Because <laughs> we're well-kept. We're, like, you know, into grooming, obviously. <laughs> hey, you promise you won't hold it against me that I loaned you my hair dryer? Well, I was kind of wondering okay. myself. I'm like, why does this guy with short hair have a blow dryer? But, hey, you know, whatever. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how guys think. Oh, here. no! Oh, she does! She does think he's gay! She's saying, fellas, is it gay to blow dry your hair? Let's go! back and I thought about the time we'd spent together and you know I have to rethink this and completely reevaluate everything right now she's trying to decipher who's who and what's what because that I mean she didn't know before I just can't believe some of these guys are lying to me it just really hurts The drama of <laughs> the drama, it's so overplayed, dude. It, it's like, oh no. <laughs> She's like, why is she crying? <laughs> She's like, oh no, I'm devastated. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I love that, dude. <laughs> yeah. White women, when you tell them gay men exist in 2004 before they, you know, started seeing gay men as accessories. Oh, no. Okay, listen. Um, the only thing overblown here is the top of the hour ad break, okay? Because at the top of the hour, I engage in the most homophobic action of all, which is to serve you, gays and straights, a one-minute ad break. Now, of course, if you no longer want to be attacked in this vicious act of homophobia, all you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free. Prime, that is. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you can get one free Prime subscription a month. Use it here. Description. Here's the one-minute ad break now. Reacts are back, boys. I mean, this is, this is perfect. 
I just can't believe some of these guys are lying to me. Babe, even if they were all straight, the guys would still be lying to you. Yeah, like, uh, what? <laughs> she's just, she's so sheltered. She just uh, doesn't know that men lie all the time. <laughs> Across the board. Hatchem HM, thank you for the tank of the subs. can't do this <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna sit keep sitting here and funny chris thank you for the five get the subs Woo. this is her afghanistan this is white women's afghanistan jackie only had about 20 minutes to digest <laughs> and me when i realized gay people exist <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> News about some of the guys being straight and some of the guys being gay before she found out and we found out that she would be calling the guys out to have a swing date. The guys I chose for the swing date were Bradley, Ryan, and Gus. You know oh, what? dude, clocked. She literally is like going, oh, dude. She sniped them. Oh my God, the, the feminine instinct, dude. What the fuck? Fuck, she literally straight went straight up, dude. Holy shit. Oh my lord. It's going through my head. I'm like, all right, so they're going to pick guys that she thinks are gay to, uh, to see if they are or not, to see what they say. Or maybe she picks the guy she likes the best to see what happens. My strategy, you know, I've, I've been thinking about it. I'm going to just watch their mannerisms and um, see their personality, how they react towards me. Um, see if we have some sort of connection because I would really find it hard to believe that a gay guy can honestly act like he's straight. Oh, what are your feminine? That's such a funny. That's how you know she's straight, by the way, low key. Because like, the fuck do you mean? It's 2004. Like literally every gay dude knows how to fucking code switch at that point because otherwise they're gonna get beaten up. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Oh, gay guys would never know how to act straight. Oh, okay, yeah, it probably. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so tell me more about yourself. What would you like to know? Your hair dryer. Oh, What's the deal, dude? oh he did the TikTok fuckboy mm, lip bite. That's awesome. He came in hot with that, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, what's up? Hey, what's up, babe? Maybe he is straight. I don't know. Hey, what's up? Popped it. Like that. Ludwig looking ass. Okay, all white dudes do not look like Ludwig, but a lot of them do. Yes, this is true. Boys, the plan is simple looking motherfucker. <laughs> Boys! I think he might be straight. You know, he's he's a he's one of the metrosexuals. Your hair dryer. Oh, What's the come deal, on, dude? What's come the on. deal? I know, I know, I know. You do not need a no, hair dryer. I totally do, though. <laughs> My last relationship was a three and a half year relationship. So, what are your interests? I love working on cars. I tell you, I have like feminine qualities. I know this. I've been told this, but I'm not gay. That's... My own probation because of my hair dryer. I'm trying to make you understand how important you realize it is that I'm not. I'm not gay. Look how thick it is. Feel my hair. Honey, She's you're the good. only guy with the blow dryer. The hair dryer, she said that she was over it and that she got past it, but we'll see. Bro, she honeyed him. I don't know. She hit him with the honey, dude. What the fuck? As, even if he isn't gay, I think uh, the the potential for sex in the future is just, you know, I don't know. You're in the honey zone, dude. That's <laughs> kind of over for you. 
Who do you think she's gonna eliminate first? Sure, I think everybody's nervous um, about tonight. It's the night that we all dread because nobody wants to be kicked off. What is it that's driving her? Is it the money or does she genuinely want to meet somebody to fall in love with? Nobody really knows what Jackie's thinking, if she really likes us and laughs at our jokes for real or not. So this is pretty stressful for everyone. There is $500,000. Right now, she's thinking about the money. So with my swing date... Whoever said right now she's thinking about the money, probably straight. Or like a, you know, very misogynistic gay guy. It really helped me clear my mind and focus. As a gay cell. This is such a tough decision as to decide, you know, whether someone's gay or straight. <laughs> Dude, I can't, like, again, I know I'm repeating myself, but placing this at the ranch where they all have to dress like cowboys is precisely the best way to do it because they all just look gay as hell now. Like, it's just so... I know this is pre-Brokeback Mountain, I think, right? Uh, I, I don't know what year that came out, but, like, still. It's just so... It, it's still omega gay. To just uh, do this at the ranch where they all like dress up flashy, like, yeah, I love, yeah, I love, <laughs> I love my snakeskin boots. There are people in this group that are deceiving me, and obviously, you know, it hurts. Oh, Brother Man hurts. came out it a year after so this. Bad, you know, because well, I mean, guess we know where the inspiration came from. It's not like they're in it for the love, I mean, they're gay. They're, they're in it for the money. <laughs> as an ally, you should know. First of all, I'm not an ally. I'm a foe. LGBT foe. Uh, as an ally, you should know the date of the release. which is an iconic movie. You guys want to know something crazy? I've never seen Brokeback Mountain. Is that wild? Yeah, she did say that a little aggressively. Disrespecting Heath's legacy. Wow. Broke by Mountain was a book first, you uncultured swine. Is it, I mean, is it good? Is overrated as fuck? Is it? <laughs> I love someone saying that's homophobic in 2022. Like it's fucking 2006. You can make that joke. But in 2022, it's like, uh. It's very good and very sad. Oh. walk up there standing next to Daphne and I look at all the guys and then I just look down immediately I could not even look at any of the guys it didn't matter if they were staying or not it was awful it sucked we we're all sitting there you know and it was just I think it was so much pressure the tension between the guys was just like <laughs> you could cut a knife through it the two that are asked to leave this is your opportunity to tell her the truth about yourself. Well, fellas, this, is, uh, this has been quite uh, an evening for me. And tonight was so hard for me to try to decide who to eliminate because, I mean, you all are, you have your game face on. So let's get this started. Um, let's see. That dude's hairline is so busted, dude. I feel oh, terrible. Thanks. I believe Banks is gay. First of all, he shaved. People in the chat saying, make them eat pussy to know. Motherfucker, you know dudes don't know shit about female anatomy? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> you think straight guys ought to eat pussy? What the fuck are you talking about? Shaves everything. His arms and his legs. And I don't know any man that does that. That's like a, that's like a child who said that. Yeah, it's fucking make them eat pussy. That's how you know they're straight. <laughs> Oh, anyway. You know, when I came onto this, I knew it was going to be an adventure. I just ask that you humor me with a couple more days. I feel like this dude's straight. I'm this really is a straight forward, dude. Uh, to getting to know you more, so I'd like to ask you to stay. Is that all He's right? giving too much, like, <laughs> dad vibes. Look, look. I don't know, but he does perk out his butt. This is the second time he's hugged her, and every time he hugs, he's perking out his butt. Now, two reasons for why that could happen, okay? 
One, because icky, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Or two, boner protection, okay? If he's, in, if he's in boner town right now, if he's bricked up, okay, he's just trying to, trying to actively, actively not rub up on her, okay, like a Turkish barber. So, <laughs> that joke is for like the eight Turkish people that are watching this currently. I don't know why I made that. But anyway, I think, yeah, I think that's, that, that could be, I think he's straight. This guy's straight. <laughs> okay. Eddie, darling, love the accent. You're you're absolutely. In Turkey, we have a meme that the barber, bad about it, which means the barber will put his dick uh, on your shoulder. It's fucked up. It's a fucked up Turkish joke. God, I just ruined the lira's prospects once again. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry, Turkey. The lira is, it's fucked. Hilarious. So you're staying. <laughs> All right, um, Sharif. This is one big game, and all that I know is what I'm, what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. Well, you what I'm Pardon, I'm but I'm who knows what's going on in that pretty little head of hers? Uh, Sharif, you know I don't really perceive you as a very outgoing person, and I kind of wonder why. So there's just a few questions here and there that I have of you, but I'm so excited to get to know you more. So please stay. Fantastic. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Bro, how does she know who's who? Like, they just literally look the same. Bradley? I think Bradley's gay simply because um, he's got sort of a feminine side to him. You know, the blow dryer and a lot of hair gel. I think he's very much into his personal appearance, more so than straight guys. But I don't know if she sees that yet. I, I genuinely think Chad's straight. Like, this is the second time he's, like, said some shit where it's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, yeah, he's got hair gel. Must be gay. <laughs> that Remember, Chad earlier said, uh, when asked, what was your gay quality? He was like, I don't know. I like art sometimes. I think that people might mistake me for a homosexual for that reason. Jackie, <laughs> I just uh, wanted to tell you that I'm really excited about getting the chance to get to know you. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm asking you to get. Yeah, me I'll, that I'll take it one step further. Chad is not only straight, but also very homophobic, I think. <laughs> so I'm asking you to let me stay here on the ranch. Bradley, I just, um, I noticed a few things about you. You seem like a great guy, but. At times, you are so hard to read. <sighs> as a deceit, it's a deceiving homosexual man. There's the whole blow dryer thing. You know, at first I didn't think anything about Bro, it. Bro, they really made a whole episode out of the blow dryer. What the fuck, yo? 2004 was a weird fucking time, dude. They made an entire episode around a man having a fucking hair dryer, dude. This is the greatest show of all time. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh God. Oh, this is so incredible, dude. <laughs> but it kept coming up. I don't even think he, I don't even he think he's gay. The table and, and I wondered why. about you you know it's just so mysterious bro this show literally caused hate crimes to go up in whatever bumfuck arkansas town that these motherfuckers went back to after being called gay while they were straight you know what i mean they literally i'm not fucking gay that they did hate crimes just to overcompensate okay and there's just something about jesus the christ thing. <laughs> so i do have some i'm questions. joking it's not serious But you're staying. Come here. <laughs> um, guest. Turkish military. Hey, Jackie. Hi, guest. Hey, good to see you again. <laughs> Had a good time on the swing day with you. I just wanted to be myself. Um, hopefully. Dude, I think this dude's straight, but just like a goober. You know what I mean? I think he's just like a straight goober. I had such a good time with you. Like, I, yeah, no, I don't. You'll just make the right decision and uh, keep me on and get to know each other a little bit better. Well, guest, 
I, uh, I definitely got to know you at, on our swing date. Oh! And, um... What? I just noticed how you're sitting and more introverted and um, just some of your, like, speech mannerisms Fuck. and everything. It just... I don't know. I, I, it just leads me to think that you may be gay. <laughs> and so... Oh, I'm gonna have to ask you the ranch. Yo, she said you got gay voice. Damn, that's fucked up. I think he was just, I think he's not queer coded. I think he's goober coded. Yes, I think he's just. Bro, she knew. She was like, you, you're, you're gay sitting. Wait, we gotta run it again. Oh, that's I'm gonna have to ask you leave the ranch. I have to leave the ranch. But before you go, I need to know, are you gay or are you straight? He did have the gay necklace, but... Gus is a nice guy, but I think that he's got some mannerisms. Bro, he literally does not have gay mannerisms. He has school shooter mannerisms. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Homie is just straight fucking looking at her like he's about to do crimes, okay? That make him a little bit feminine. So I think he's he might be gay. He's going Joker mode, Jackie. Actually. Um, he just reduced your chances, though. Um, hate to tell you, but I am straight. Go then! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Don't fucking test me! Um, I definitely want to see you win this, though. So he's just fucking goober coded, bitch. Let's go, dude. My gaydar is fucking. Ooh, I am the Chris Kyle. Holy shit! Even though Chris Kyle was a liar and actually didn't. Uh, wasn't all that great at being a sniper. He was like decent, but uh, and also racist. And I am not, but whatever. Okay, let's continue. Just try not to make the wrong decision again. I am tracking your predictions on a spreadsheet. You're doing great so far, dude. That is from the audience that brought you uh, my my uh, from the audience that brought you timing me for my piss. When Gus revealed to me that he was straight, yeah, I, I am. A, I I'm a gay empath. Because when we were on our swing date, he's just super nervous. I don't know if he was not used to being around girls or what, but I just got this weird, weird vibe from him. Lots of thoughts going through my head. Someone actually coming up and slapping you in the face the and gay saying path. I'm gay. Yeah, I was pretty upset about the whole thing. I was pretty pissed off actually. You know, there's only 14 guys, so um, every guy that's straight that gets off of there, um, she stands to lose $500,000. Chris. Bro, that dude's not gay. He's just neurodivergent, okay? Straight up. Like, he was just nervous and, and you know, has, like, some, some qualities like that. That's it. What can I say? You're absolutely amazing. And what? I would really like for you to stay. Can I answer? <laughs> <laughs> um, Bill, please stay. Oh, definitely. <laughs> that dude's gay, I think. And Lee? I'm asking you to stay, please. Straight. Alex? I, I think I'd like for you to stay here. Great. <laughs> I think gay. Chad? I, okay, these aren't like, these aren't locks, okay? There's a difference. There's a difference. These aren't locks. I'm throwing fucking darts at a board right now. I'm like firing off, okay? I'd like you to stay. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you when they're locked. Luciana. How are you doing, Jackie? I'm doing great, Luciana. I'd just like to ask you to let me stay for a few more days at Susan Saddles. When I first saw you, I'm going to be honest, I thought you were absolutely beautiful. Oh and my God, bro. Yo. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck if you're gay, dude. <laughs> you said your name on top Chad. of Chad. Luciana. It just like, it rolled up and it was just. Wow. <laughs> so I just, I want you to stay. Awesome. Okay. Jackie is a dime? Yes, she is very pretty. I think it's hard for a girl like Jackie to eliminate someone because she's a very caring individual. You could see the emotion in her eyes. That's when it really hit home that this was serious. You say you hate weirdo political pundits and that act like the New York Times needle, but for gay dudes, I'm sorry that my fucking gaydar is 100% more successful than the fucking needle uh, during the election cycle, okay?
Sorry. Ryan? I think this dude's gay. That's my opinion on Ryan. I think that. But Ryan I hope he doesn't get gay. eliminated because his content. He just kind of plays it too well to not He's be. He's gay too. <laughs> Your event promoter in 2004, I mean, chances are high. I had a wonderful time on the swing with you. And I've decided I like it here at the ranch, so if you have me stay, that would just uh, make my night. I'm actually getting a little panicked, and it was just like, boom. I saw nothing but Jackie's eyes on me, and it was just like laser beams. And you know, I was just like, I'm dead, I'm, I'm done. From what I can tell, you really emphasized a lot on uh, being straight and you know that just played total reverse psychology on me and that kind of made me question your sexuality gay dude eliminated but i would like for you to stay okay, okay. <laughs> content that's a producer move okay straight up i think she knows i think she knows what's up but that's a producer that is 100 percent a producer backed move this is, remember, 2004, 2020, doesn't fucking matter. Producers still have content skull, okay? We do phrenology at the Hasanabi broadcast. Cop skull and content skull. Producers know what's good. That's why they kept them in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got down to the last two. Uh, unfortunately, I was part of the last two. My heart was just pounding because I haven't had too much time to, to spend with her. I'm looking at John and Lewis, and I'm looking at her trying to figure out who is she looking at, who is she not looking at, trying to avoid eye contact with because she was so upset about having to do it. And I didn't know what was going to happen. And my boy Chris is about to get eliminated just because she don't find him attractive. <laughs> Lewis? Hi. Jackie, I'm having a great time here with you. I look forward to getting to know you a lot more. Um, you're a great gal. Um, definitely someone I'd like to get to know more of. Um, but, you know, the ball's kind of in your court right now, so. Lewis, I would just like to say, yeah, we had, we had a fantastic time, but of all the guys, I think I got to know you the least, and I wonder why. And I wonder why you didn't put yourself out there. And that kind of made me question, you know, your sexuality. I understand. Because I think a straight guy would have been more in that direction. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave the ring. I think he's, this is a tough one. They didn't actually show him that much. Why did they do that? That's fucked up. I can't even fucking make a good assessment here. You know what I mean? I just like, I, I just have to go off of like, I just have to go off of uh, whatever, you know? She just basically said shy equals gay, but. But before you go, I, I have to know, are you straight or are you gay? I can't tell. I think he might be gay. I don't know. I, I don't know enough. Classic 1-1. One, one. I just, I, I have to know, are you straight or are you gay? Lewis, Lewis is definitely gay. I figure Ryan knows because he's gay too. I trust Ryan. Lewis is gay. If he's straight, everyone in the house is straight. I'm straight. It's a pleasure meeting. Damn, dude. Damn. Okay, well, I trusted Ryan, but I was wrong. I'm sorry. I I, I failed you. Yeah, I respect your decision. Good luck. Hope it turns out for you in the end. Can we just start making problematic TV shows again in 2022? I fucking want that more than anything else, dude. Two things I want. My most conservative positions are like reinstitute Donald Trump's Twitter account and let fucking reality TV producers just fly. Do whatever kind of freak shit you want to do. Oh, God. I'm sorry. You know, there's some individuals there that, that are gay and, you know, she's going to have to try to figure that out over the next few weeks.
damn. Well, Dahlia's still nervous because... <laughs> you are killing me. Thank <laughs> you. I gotta say that you are the first person to actually give me a panic attack. <laughs> I have been waiting this long. Please tell me that I can stay. Well, hey, John, welcome. <laughs> the whole disproving the stereotype thing. Right, right. And because there's no nobody in here that didn't think he was gay. Gus was an interesting case. We all were 100% cool with the thought that he was gay. And it turns out that he's straight. I, we, we're still sort of scratching our heads about that one. All I can say is, you don't know who's straight and who's gay. It's just too difficult. Yeah. We're out of here. Can we watch another one? The way they look, the way they dress, the way they talk. That's a bunch of crap. You just can't judge a- One of the dudes straight up has lip fillers, by the way. The one that I said was like definitely gay. The one with the cowboy hat and the bill or whatever. I think he has like lip fillers. Book by its cover. The event promoter guy. All right, this is a very clever show. I think it's gonna get harder and harder for her. This guy. This is BBL Drake, boys. To choose because people are playing the game really well. So now everybody's going, well, maybe there aren't any gay guys. Maybe that's just a joke on us, and that'll be the next twist. Thank God, at least she knows that I'm not gay. Well, I'm still here. That's good. I don't think that she, she gets me because I haven't had a chance to express myself. I don't look forward to this at all. She doesn't make eye contact with me. You know, we're all just there sort of spinning our wheels, trying to top each other. It's not comforting knowing this is only going to get worse. Closet Confessionals? Next. Oh, no, no spoilers. Closet Confessionals is, it, no, it's brilliant.